Okay, hi everyone and welcome to our video on algebra and collecting like terms. Let's have a look at our learning intentions for this video. By the end of this video we hopefully want to be able to identify and collect like terms in an expression and then we want to actually simplify expressions by either adding and subtracting uh, these collected like terms. So hopefully we'll be able to do that uh, by the end of this lesson. All right. So we, we spoke about in a previous video what like terms are so that they're the letters need to be the same. The coefficients don't don't have to be the same, but we're really looking at the actual variables. Um, so what we're now going to do is we're now going to look at how we identify those like terms in an expression. Okay, and what we actually want to do now when we start collecting is we're going to identify them, and then we're actually going to rewrite the expression so that we actually group the like terms together to make it easier to actually do the operations, the mathematical operations on them. All right, so let's have a look at let's have a look at the um, collecting the like terms in the following expressions. We're going to use these examples as we go through the through the video. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got three a plus two b plus two a plus three b. So if we have a look at the terms, we can see that we've got an a here, and we've also got an a here. So three a and two a. And what I might do here is I might actually just circle the three a and the plus two a. And we can also see that we've got a b and b here. So I'll just put a square around these, plus 2b, plus 3b. So what we can do to simplify this, we might just bring the a's to the front. So 3a plus 2a. And then we've got plus 2b plus 3b. So that expression has just been rewritten so that our like terms are grouped together. All right, let's have a look at the next one. 4x plus 5 plus 2x minus 3. All right, can we see the like terms? Yeah, we've got 4x because they're the same power, plus 2x, they're the same. And then we've also got the plus 5 and the minus 3 are also like terms. So constant terms are also like terms. So if we bring those together, we can see we've got 4x plus 2x plus 5 minus 3. So now we can actually see that this exp these expressions are now actually, it's a little bit easier to actually work with. All right, let's have a look at the last one. We've got 8y squared, 8y squared plus xy plus 2xy minus 3y squared. So, excuse me. So if we have a look at the, the terms, We've got a y squared here, xy, oh, we've got xy and xy, so these two are like terms. They've got the same letters and same powers. And then we've got another y squared um, at the end there. So if I just circle the y squared and the minus 3y squared, that's important. And then we've got the plus xy and the plus 2xy. So if we rewrite those, um, we're going to write that 8 y squared minus 3y squared plus xy plus 2xy. All right, so when we're going to now collect these like terms, what we now want to do is we're actually going to add and subtract these like terms. So let's have a look at how we actually do that really, really simply. Let's have a look at this. If we've got 2a, and if we imagine this like, a, if we think of A for apples, we've got two apples plus three apples. We end up with five apples. Now, I want you to have a look here. We've got the A and the A there. The A doesn't actually change. All that changes when we're adding and subtracting like terms is the coefficient. So the actual variable or pronumeral itself doesn't change. So if we work through 3x plus 7x, well, 3 plus 7 gives me 10, and then I've just got the same, so I'll keep the x. 2ab plus 4ba. Now, is a, b, and b, a the same? Yes, they are. They've got the same combination of letters. So 2 plus 4 gives me 6, and then we'll write that in alphabetical order, a, b. And then I've got 2y squared plus 6y squared. So um, remembering the actual um, the variable part, the pronumeral part, Change doesn't stay. Uh, sorry, it doesn't change. But then we just add the coefficient. So two plus six gives me eight y squared. So that means I've got eight lots of y squared. If you want to say that. 
Same with the subtracting. Subtracting is really, really, um, it's basically we're working on the same premise. Now we're just taking it away. So 5a minus 3a, 5 take 3 is 2, and the letter stays the same. 7x minus 2x, well 7 minus 2 is 5, and the x stays there. And in our last one there, we've got 8x squared minus 4x squared. So we've got 8 take 4, which is 4, and then we've got x squared. So really, really, really important that the actual variable stays the same. We don't actually change that there. All right, let's look at our previous examples. We've simplified these down here. Now what we can actually do, we can actually simplify them further to get, our, I guess, our final answer. Okay, so we've got 3a plus 2a, so that turns into 5a. And then we've got plus 2b plus 3b, that gives me plus 5b. Now, do we have any like terms here? No? So 5a plus 5b is our simplified answer. All right, in the next one here, we've got 4x plus 2x. So we've actually got 6x there. And then plus 5 minus 3, or well, plus 5 minus 3, we are, uh, following our integer number line stuff, we've got plus 5 minus 3 is plus 2. So 6x plus 2 is our um, final answer. Over here, 8y squared minus 3y squared, so we've got 5y squared, and then we've got plus xy plus 2xy. Now remember, if there's no number next to it, it represents 1, so we've got 1 plus 2, which gives me plus 3xy. So there we have it. We've simplified um, by collecting like terms. Really simply making sure that we're, um, that we're doing those calculations on the coefficients and then leaving the variable the same. All right. I like to call these, I guess the easy steps to success. It's a, just a basically a step-by-step -step guide as to how to actually collect like terms and simplify um, by collecting like terms. One, we're going to identify the like terms in the expression. We can circle them, we can square them, put squares around them, triangles, whatever you want to do, highlight them, it doesn't matter, as long as you can identify those. We're then going to rewrite the expression so that the like terms are next to each other. And then finally, we're going to simplify the expression by adding or subtracting the like terms. Now, this is something that we might do in the early stages. Later on, what we can do is you can actually just go straight from identifying the like terms to your final answer. It doesn't really matter. This is just a way to actually build our confidence in that. So let's have a look at our final um, expression here. We've got 3x plus 7y minus 2x minus 4y. All right, so if we identify the like terms, we've got 3x and minus 2x, and we've got plus 7y and minus 4y. So what we've got here is if we rewrite that, we've got 3x minus 2x plus 7y minus 4y. 3x minus 2x, so 3 minus 2 gives me 1. Now 1x we would just write as x, and then we've got plus 7 minus 4y, which gives me plus 3. Y, and that's our final simplified answer there. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you have uh, a, a lot of success um, collecting like terms.